You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Action. We must take back the streets. The year, 1994. The next thing I saw was people falling down and gunshots. America's cities facing soaring crime. It doesn't matter whether or not the person that is accosting your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, my mother, your parents, it doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, become uh, uh, social, uh, become socialized into the fabric of society. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. Hit your mama outside the head with a pipe, shoot your wife, take on your sons. Did this actually happen to you, Joe Biden? Did somebody come up and bust your mama outside the head with a lead pipe? Did your wife actually get shot? Or are you just making up things to scare all of the white people in America? Like, oh my goodness, black people are so terrifying. So I don't want to ask what made them do this. They must be taken off the street. The law increased funding to hire 100,000 new police officers nationwide, provided incentives to build more state prisons, included the Violence Against Women Act, and mandated life sentences for three strikes. That's number one. There's a consensus on that. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people. What is a cadre, Joe Biden? Why are you using big words? You trying to call me slow, you sorry, my... <laughs> Tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure. Everything Joe Biden is saying is nigga, 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 nigga. I know it doesn't sound good. It sounds horrible to a person like me. That that's the way you think. You don't even have to say the word nigga to think nigga. All these little nigga babies running these streets. Without any conscience developing. The Negro has no conscience whatsoever. He cannot think for himself. And therefore, us good white folks must take these black kids off the street and give them 20, 30, 40 years in prison. They literally, I yield myself three more minutes. Let me keep cooking these niggas for at least three more minutes. We gotta get these niggas off the streets. Because they literally have not been socialized. They literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. Predators. You want me to vote for a person who called people who look like me predators? Predators. He said it doesn't matter that we created these people. It doesn't matter that our systems failed these people. I don't care. You know what? Let's take a little history lesson. Let's go back in time. Rewind, rewind, rewind. The great society rests on abundance and liberty for all. It demands an end to poverty and racial injustice, to which we're totally committed in our time. With Lyndon Baines Johnson, who created all the welfare for all the black folks in America, destroyed the black family, and then came back and said, since we destroyed the black family, let's put all these black children in the prison. Huh? <laughs> Edward Douglas, who was sentenced to life after three drug convictions and was just released as a result of the criminal justice reform law signed by President Trump. The Democratic Party created the policies to destroy the black family and then came back in the future and said, now that we done destroyed the family, let's lock up all these black men. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. He's talking about American citizens. He's talking about your children, your son, your daughter, your little black precious babies. He said these motherfucking predators got to get off the street. This is Joe Biden. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. Holy shit, Joe Biden said that America created these super predators. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. You destroyed the black family. After you destroyed the black family, you incarcerated the black male, and you said, we created these super predators. And guess what? We have to clean up our mess. Put them all in jail. Lock up every nigga baby from sea to shining sea. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. 
and it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. You cannot be saved. You cannot save the black person. The black person is in a failed state. The black American shall perish. Woo, shit. Joe Biden is talking about black Americans, and he said that they can't be saved. They must be taken out of our society and put into prisons. End the mass incarceration of millions. Was this bill essentially fueling what we now know as mass incarceration? There's no question that it fueled it. It incentivized prison construction. It, it incentivized states to pass more draconian laws. It incentivized states to take away the eligibility for parole. It held this carrot out here for states to, in effect, embrace systems of mass incarceration. They employed 100,000 police officers to wage a war against black men. For black men, we got prison. And for white men, you became a police officer to enforce Joe Biden's political policies to throw black men into prison. The Democratic Party created the super predator. Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, these people created the super predator. And y'all voted for these individuals. Shame on you. And the truth is, we don't very well know how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. Go rehabilitate your crackhead son. Stop letting Hunter come to the house with the dope. You hear me? They found dope in the White House. They found a white bitch in the White House with your white ass son doing dope in the White House because the White House is the trap house because y'all are the biggest criminals in the world, Joe Biden. <laughs> Lock that motherfucker up and throw away the key. But there is a consensus, and I will cease. A, we must make the streets safer. I don't care why someone is a malfactor in society. I don't care why someone is antisocial. I don't care why they become a sociopath. We have an obligation to cordon them off from the rest of society. I don't care why Joe Biden is a liar. I don't care why Joe Biden made the decision to lock up millions of American men. I don't care why Hunter Biden is a crackhead. You must not ever vote for Joe Biden. You must not ever vote for another Democrat because these people hate you. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.